Word, everybody. My name is Fred Gendel. This is my wife, Diane. We settled here in Milford recently after I retired from the Air Force. I spent 30 years mostly flying fighters, and Diane was uh, an Air Force nurse for 20 years as well. We're both now college instructors. We settled in, into Milford because of family. Diane grew up a stone's throw away across the river, and her mom and family live uh, there now. But we settled here also because Milford is just a great place to live with uh, really good people, and it's full of things to do outside, which when the weather is nice and a little bit warmer, we try and do. Pike County is full of trails to hike, rivers to paddle, and, uh, and a wonderful way uh, to spend your time. We really like it here. We support Nick's candidacy as an independent, as political independence. We're independents for a couple of reasons. The first is really our military background. Uh, the United States has a really sound and long-standing tradition of an apolitical military officer corps. It's a really good idea. Not everybody has to be an independent, but I think um, most senior people are. And having tried that on, uh, we just prefer it. A second reason, though, is that because we lived long enough and in enough places to have learned not to rely on local, state, or national party leaders to do our thinking for us. Over the years, we've simply done the research and followed our consciences when voting, sometimes voting for Republicans, sometimes Democrats, always avoiding party partisanship. When he left the presidency in 1796, George Washington summed up concerns over political parties better than I ever could when he said, let me now warn you in the most solemn manner against the baneful effects of the spirit of party. It serves always to distract the public councils and enfeebles the public administration. It agitates a community with ill-founded jealousies and false alarms kindles the animosity of one party against another, foments occasional political riot and insurrection. It opens the door to foreign influence and corruption. Although 18th century language may seem overly formal and strange to us, Washington's words could not be more relevant to today's politics, which have become far too partisan. Diane and I are moderates. I think that most Americans are pretty much in the middle. Most believe in our nation and its government, most accept the rights and the responsibilities of citizenship, and most want our elected representatives to do their jobs as elected representatives by working together to solve problems. I don't think our current Congressman Tom Reno represents that most of us. He's more interested in being a member of Congress than doing the work of a Congressman, and more interested in pleasing his party than serving the people. You don't need to look any further than this for the, than his role in the shutdown of the U.S. government last fall. Congressman Marino was one of the my way or the highway extremists that held the nation hostage at a significant cost in dollars, private sector jobs, and overall confidence in our governing institutions. For us, Nick Troiano came along at just the right time. We first read about Nick in the River Reporter when he announced his exploratory committee, and we sent him a note of encouragement through his website. Nick quickly reached out and offered to meet us in person. Over coffee soon thereafter, we discussed his background and views on the challenges that are in front of our country. Diane and I came away convinced that Nick understands what needs to be done, and he's willing to work with others, not against them, to meet these challenges head on. That he's gonna do the hard work to provide real solutions not the shallow bumper sticker slogans of Tom Marino to the problems we face. Problems such as what we should spend as a nation on what and how we should fairly fund that spending. How to create good jobs that pay a fair and livable wage. Goodness, goodness knows we could use more of those in Pike County. And how we preserve the bounty of nature given to us and hand a healthy and sustainable environment to our children and grandchildren. The truth is, we can't know what the big questions for our elected leaders will be between 2014 and 2016. But we do know that we'll best be served by someone we can trust to answer them based on what's best for most of us, not just what's best for one party or for a few can cam campaign contributors. We believe that person is Nick Troyan. Sweetheart. 
I think Fred has summarized nicely what many of us are thinking. But now it's time to do something about it. Fred usually uses and quotes a lot from one of his favorite presidents, John F. Kennedy. And he failed to do so, so I've got to add that in today. One person can make a difference, and everyone should try. We need to give Nick Triano the opportunity to make that difference. And he can only do so if we try.